Usually when you see a name and number on your caller ID, you can trust that it's who's actually on the other end of the line. Unfortunately, that's not always true. Yeah, that's right. Scammers always seem to find ways to work around things like caller ID. Recently, one has been targeting Lowndes County residents. The con artists even knew personal information about their victims before making the call. Our Shawanda Jones joins us live in the studio with more details. Shawanda. Telephone scammers are looking to get some real money out of some unsuspecting victims in Lowndes County, and they're using the name of the sheriff's office and a former judge to try to make it look legitimate. Hello? These people are professionals. I mean, they do this for a living. They scam people out of their money every day, all day long. Lowndes County Sheriff Eddie Hawkins says he received several calls and texts from people who picked up the phone with the fraudster on the other line. This individual was using a name of a fictitious uh, deputy working for the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. Uh, even used a badge number that he created uh, that doesn't make sense for our badge numbers. So uh, people in the community knew this and they knew that there was something fishy about the calls. To make the allegations more believable, they spoof local numbers to enhance the chances of you falling for the scam. These criminals that are actually doing this have ways to go out and clone a phone number. Uh, they'll use someone's legitimate number and put it into a system, place a call, and when it shows up on your caller ID, it may show up Lowndes County Sheriff's Office uh, when they're actually uh, out of country somewhere. The scammers falsely accused victims of having a warrant issued by a retired chancery judge, Dorothy Colomb. Uh, they were even using the name of a, a judge is, is no longer serving and is, has retired, uh, which was another red flag for us. Hawkins says this is not how his department works. We don't ask for personal information over the, the phone, and we're not going to ask you to go and get a prepaid or preloaded debit card to pay the fine instead of coming to jail. That's not how we operate, and that is a scam, and they're trying to scam you out of your money. Hawkins says, don't be an easy target. These scammers were able to get personal information on some of the victims, uh, whether it be name, address, things of that nature. Be mindful of what you put online. Uh, don't put your personal information on social media where somebody has easy access to it. A simple Google search can reveal what information is out there on you. So if you are putting information online, just be mindful of what you're releasing to the public that they can use that information against you. For future reference. And so if we have a warrant for you, we're gonna come knocking on your door first. So uh, if somebody calls you and tells you that we have a warrant, it's probably a scam. If you've been a victim, please contact the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department directly.